Hey everyone, Brian Lagunas here. Uh, recently, I've been getting a number of emails uh, from developers saying that they just cannot get .NET Core 3 to work. Their project won't even open in Visual Studio. In this video, I'm gonna show you what you need to do to enable .NET Core 3 support in your version of Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and get started. So something interesting happened to me, actually. I recently upgraded my version of Visual Studio to version 15.9. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you exactly my experience of when I did this and what happened when I opened up my first .NET Core 3 app. So I'm gonna start by launching a .NET Core 3 app right now. Let's see what happens with this newest, latest version of Visual Studio. So far, so good. Ah, crap. Apparently, something's not working. I don't know what it is, but let's go ahead and hit okay and see what we can find out. So I have an output message saying, look, my project file is incomplete, expected imports are missing. Well, I know this is not the case because my project file markup is perfect, right? So something else is the issue. Well, come to find out, if you're running Visual Studio 15.9 or greater, and to find that out, just go help about Microsoft Visual Studio. And you'll see right here, I'm running 15.9.3. Okay, so if you have 15.9.x, you're gonna have this issue. To fix this, we're gonna go into Tools, Options, Project and Solutions, .NET Core. They added a checkbox that makes you opt in to using the previews of the .NET Core SDK. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, yes, let's use the previews. I'm gonna hit okay. Now I'm going to reload the project and cross my fingers that that's the only problem. Perfect, looks like that was the issue. Just for fun, let's do a build. Build succeeded, let's run it. I just wanna make sure this works. And the application's working. All right, so if you run into this issue or if you're running Visual Studio 15.9 or greater, make sure you go into your options, enable the preview SDKs and you'll be up and running again. Hope this video helps, thanks for watching. 